The Indigenous Public Health Leaders Program is a professional development program with the goal of training emerging Indigenous public health professionals in core public health competencies. Well, I think it's a huge need. There's, you know, when you look at all of our communities within Indian country, we have so many different um, areas that we're struggling in. Um, and, and this includes, I think, um, all different areas of health. When we talk about our, our mental health and physical health, our spiritual health, which I think a lot of times is where that's centered from when we look at the history of our people and what we've been through and how that, I think, really a loss of identity and, and spirituality creates this, this need for, I think, probably belonging within a society that, that we're not, I think, still adapting to. So one of the major things that my community is fortunate enough to have is we have had a about a 40, 50 year partnership with Johns Hopkins University. And so the Center uh, for American Indian Health through Johns Hopkins has administrative offices there on my reservation. And so a lot of the childhood immunization, the baby shots that people get have been tested at various stages on my reservation. And so we've had that long lasting relationship. And so it was, it's interesting to see the work that is done on my people, by my people, and for my people, sort of um, at the global stage. Well, personally, the gaps that I've seen are some of the, um, the funds, the money. Um, personally, I see that there's a difference in having access to um, Indian health services. And then there's also, you know, when you compare that to private um, insurance, there's big differences. But obviously behavioral health is, you know, a huge uh, component and need in our communities. The gap, I think just the major gap again, and I think a lot of it comes down to that the history of our people with just having community members that are not fully able to connect or maybe even trust modern medicines. To realize that our people haven't really healed from our traumas. So we're, our grandparents, great-grandparents have been faced with um, historical intergenerational trauma that they haven't healed from. So bringing that to the forefront and seeing that that is the impact and reason for our health disparities. The Indigenous Public Health Leaders Program was designed with a concentrated effort to break down oppressive institutional systems and assist in the return of power to Indigenous people in tribal nations to positively impact the health well-being, and quality of life for Indigenous communities. It's not just being alive, it's also making sure that you live a meaningful, healthy life. So we've got to rethink why we live the way we do in Indian country. We see the rates, we see the statistics, we can rethink that. We want to be a part of that driving force. We want to be a part of that change in Indian country. I feel that it would be the current policies and procedures that we have to work within a parameter within our counties and our states. I think there's just so much. Getting information that's directly based in Indigenous communities for Indigenous people, being surrounded by like-minded people, really working together to you know, overcome those issues that we have, those barriers, and then playing on our strengths because we have so many and being able to look at others and see, oh, they do it like this. Well, let's see, maybe we could do it like this too, but maybe we change it just a little bit to, you know, for our community. Our approach is to incorporate tribal wisdom to protect and promote physical, mental, and spiritual well-being while working upstream to address drivers of poor health outcomes through culturally appropriate practices. I take I take solace and comfort in that, but I'll continue to always do the good work and that there, there are opportunities and that there are, there's more research out there that's being done, whether that's qualitative or quantitative, that all of the readings that we've done, all of the trainings, like there are people out there that are doing that work. So being able to say, oh, I know, I know this resource. And it always starts with the younger generation you know, to, to, to teach them why this is important, you know, what this is, what the big picture looks like, you know, moving forward in their future. So I think that's a, I think that's an important place to start. Over 200 applications with representation from over 60 tribes 
were submitted to the Indigenous Public Health Leaders Program. Really, I think for me, that would be my ultimate level of satisfaction, I guess you could say, is really coming up with meaningful uh, and realistic um, solutions to help our, my people and more broadly Indian country. I don't think you could get a better experience where you have so many different native people, leaders in their own right, that are you know doing these amazing things in Indian country, coming together for one single moment to have this conversation. And I think that the highest form of education um, is really learning about the differences in us as individuals and at the community level and applying what we learn to better ourselves and our community. And so I, I hope, I'm hopeful um, that we will all go home equipped with a new arsenal, so to speak, in our toolkits. As you begin, I think, to lean on each other and kind of work off of each other, um, you begin to, to meet other people too as well. So, you know, I think really just the expansion of the network and, and building lasting relationships that you know, can, can lead to all kinds of collaborative work in the field. I believe that as Native people, um, health was always at the forefront, whether spiritual health, mental health, um, physical health, and to know that at one point in time, we we're all healthy people, to try to get back to that point um, for all of us. I can see that for the future generations, so that's empowering. So I really would like at least in my organization, to keep going, and we do it, keep going to our tribal nations first and asking what they need instead of assuming that we know what they need or what we can do for them. We hope to continue to expand and improve the Indigenous Public Health Leaders Program as necessary with the evolving needs of Indian Country. Sonia Abe, Mandan Hidatsa Arikara, North Dakota. I am a public health professional. I'm Mona Zufanti. I'm a member of the Seneca Cayuga Nation of Oklahoma, and I'm a public health professional. I am Dene, and I am a public health professional. My name is Jocelyn Parker. I'm from Ponca City, Oklahoma, a member of the Ponca Tribe of Oklahoma. I am a public health professional. Hi, this is Jeremy Zen. I'm Tunica Biloxi in Choctaw, and I'm a proud public health professional. My name is Jason Butler. I'm a member of the Northern Ute Tribe, and I am a public health professional. I'm Emily Baer. I'm a citizen of the Holton Band of Maliseet Indians, and I'm a tribal public health professional. My name is Derek Leslie. I am a member of the White Mountain Apache Tribe, and I am a public health professional. My name is Courtney Davis Suvanasak. I am an enrolled citizen of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, and I am a public health professional.